friends, we're out here at Gulletsville, Tennessee. I'm with my good friend, the spa guy. We have actually found String Bing's home. This is what it looks like today. It's the structure in the back. And fortunately, there's a gate at the entrance. So we're kind of stuck here at the road. It's kind of on a hill too. So it's that green roof on the back. Yes, the green roof on the back. We can see the top of the roof. This is today, June of 2017. This is what it looked like the day after the murder. You can see all the vehicles in this picture. You can see the telephone pole. And just to the right, the side of the home is Grandpa Jones' home. So that's what it looked like. And it looks like it happened in the fall or the winter time. No leaves on the trees. And here, it's June. There's a telephone pole. That appears to be a... That almost looks like a firewood. Yes, yeah, firewood. firewood I thought it was stones, but uh -huh. it's firewood there on the fence line. You're uh -huh. exactly right. Yeah, it's too bad we can't get closer. So that's how it is today. We are going to get closer. Now we're going to send Seymour up to take a closer look. So we can see. So we can see. More. See more. <laughs> see more is up. Getting a better look. Right above String, Bean, String Bean's house. Mm -hmm. And again, I appreciate the small guy giving me assistance. Okay, guys, here in the front, you'll see Grandpa Jones's house. String Bean had the house right behind uh, Grandpa Jones's house, a smaller home with a green roof. In fact, let's zoom down on it a little bit. There you go. That was actually the location where String Bean and Estelle were murdered by the Brown cousins. Uh, they lie in wait in waiting for String Bean to finish the Grand Ole Opry and. Um, when, when Estelle and String Bean came home, they killed him in cold blood because they heard a rumor that String Bean didn't trust banks and stashed cash all around the house, so they were there to rob him. Just learned recently that uh, one of the Brown cousins uh, was released from prison after 41 years. He was actually out on parole. The other cousin died in 2003 of natural causes in prison. All this happened November 1973. John Brown was released from prison in 2014, again after serving 41 years in prison. I guess that would make him about 65 or 66 years old today. Uh, String Bean was a comedian. He played the banjo. He appeared on Hee Haw and starred on a Grand Ole Opry on a regular basis. One time, well, I guess he took a pair of uh, little Jimmy Dickens pants and sewed them on to his shirt, uh, you know, to, to kind of have that comedian look. He was a tall, slender individual. Uh, very funny, by the way. I've seen lots of uh, YouTube videos and of him. So there's a story, friends.